This is the Earth Science Clash and welcome back to the channel. This video is on minerals, in particular the Mohs Hardness Scale. So this video is a look at the 10 minerals that were used in his experiment to figure out the hardness of different minerals and look at what actually makes a mineral hard internally by its structure and its chemistry versus a mineral that is softer. So a mineral that's towards 10 or 9 or 10 on the hardness scale, which is very hard, versus a mineral that is down in the 1, 2 or 3 range, which is very soft compared to a harder mineral. So what Mohs did was just compare by knocking these two minerals together and seeing which ones scratched, basically abrasion or physical weathering and see which ones were scratched and which ones weren't and then use that as a relative scale. So it's not perfectly in line where one to two is twice as much, that actually diamond the number 10 is four times stronger or harder than the next one down on the scale, which is corundum, which is nine. And then corundum is twice as strong as number eight, which is topaz. So the mineral's hardness is based on the cleavage, on the areas of weakness, and the chemical bond in the hydrogen of the electron bonds between the atoms and where there are areas of weakness. Now, based on fracture or cleavage and how they break and the planes they break along, but the hardness is the lattice bonding structure caused or created by the joining of the atoms and how they join, whether it's a bond that is metallic or covalent, ionic, or even a hydrogen bond. So these bonds, these way that where the atoms connect to create the lattice, the structure, the internal structure of the mineral, that's gonna create how hard a mineral is. So of the 10 minerals he experimented with, he found that the softest mineral is talc. Now this is a one on the scale as a starting point. And the next one on the list is gypsum, which is two. Now, both of these really are formed through the bonding called hydrogen bonds, which are weaker in general than both ionic and covalent. So that they're softer based on their structure. So then we get calcite, fluorite, apatite, and feldspar going up into the more harder ranges of the scale. Now, these are all ionic bonding. And then we get a sharp increase very exponential increase in hardness going up to uh, quartz, topaz, corundum, and finally up to diamond, which is extremely strong based on the same element and how it's bonded together and its structure. So diamond is a three-dimensional same element bonding, which is covalent, but it's bonded with the same element, so it makes it very strong in that three-dimensional lattice, which again, makes it very strong and the hardness reflects that.